Yes, children, we are going to do some grammar today. First, uh, we'll be doing, uh, I'll be giving you a dialogue with the blanks. You'll be filling in the blanks with the information given there. She said, When will our exams start? I told her that next month. She exclaimed, Okay. So here are the sentences. You have to fill up the fill up the required information. So whatever the required information is that I'm giving you orally, you fill up accordingly. Okay. So she said, when will our exam start? I told her that. So the uh, information is um, so information is almost given next week. So you fill it up in whatever the way you think it would be. Yes. So she exclaimed too early. So this is given, giving you the hint like what should come here. So I said that we dash to face all circumstances. So these things are the hints which will tell you in what form this fill-ups or blanks are to be filled up. Do it now. Yes. Okay, first question. I told her that next month. What will come here, Anshya? Uh, I told her that they or the exams might or would would start from next month. So I told her that the exams might or would or could start from next month is already already written why not will here why not will here because this side we are writing past form if this side past form here also will be writing the past form of will or may or can so i told her that they might or the exams would or could start from the next month. She exclaimed too early. Yes, Kripal? You are saying she exclaimed with shock that it is, is, past tense. She exclaimed with, with wonder, with shock, or with, Huh? with surprise, anything. She exclaimed with surprise that it would be 
too early or it could be too early that it was too early anything so simply if you could write was also or could also would also okay hi the tarot also it could be possible i told her that they were too early and she exclaimed with surprise that it would be too early or it was too early anything okay the next i said that we dash to face all circumstances hmm? that we have to face all circumstances or uh, i said that we should be or must whatever that we should be ready to to is already written we should be ready to face all circumstances i said that we should be ready to face all circumstances yes are the children is it clear here any doubt okay so shall we proceed so here in this exercise what we have learned that if we have got past tense here then on the other side also we use the past tense so i told her is a principal clause that they whatever is the subordinate clause okay when principal clause is in past tense then the subordinate clause is also in past tense okay past tense means the second form of verb so here i said that we should is that clear okay now next exercise we can pick up so write on this sentence again she said same sentence when will our exam start now rewrite the statement in indirect form now change the narration change the narration she said when will our exam start yes gurleen give the answer close your book first hmm all of you write the answer children hmm gurleen yes Gurleen, start at least. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Speak up. Maybe wrong. Never mind. Whatever is coming in your mind, say. This is the difference between online and offline class. in online class i might have switched to some other student by this time okay gurpal you give answer she asked that ha na he is saying gurpal says he asked that okay she she asked that when aage kya bola aapne hmm when there when there exams hmm would start what should i put here full stop or question mark question mark so see the mistakes number 1 the mistake is asked then that then uh, question mark three mistakes in one sentence how many marks will you get then out of one hmm? number 1 when we change the narration when we bring direct into indirect then interrogative sentence changes into assertive 
okay this interrogative will become assertive there won't be any question mark in the end number 1 so if it is to be a statement then it means that the verb will come later on after the subject so there exams would is correct will has become would that is correct when will remain when that is correct but why that has come both of these are conjunctions we can't use two conjunctions in one sentence there has to be one conjunction and when itself is a conjunction so this that will not come so he asked when their exams would start so their are has changed into their even this is correct so why what is wrong with asked because there is no object after this she said to whom she said to me is not there so had it been she said to me that it would have been become it would have been like she asked me but because there is no object let said be said so she said when their exams would start enquired would also be correct so even if you let the said word as it is said even then it could not be wrong so she inquired when their exams would start okay but better she said because we don't have an object after this she enquired is okay but with asked it would not be that okay because with asked we need an object okay now write one more sentence like this she said to me she said to me why don't you attend classes regularly why don't you attend classes regularly yes ishani will give answer unmute yourself ishani yes ma'am hmm. she asked me why didn't i attend classes regularly okay ishani you are saying i'm writing what you told me okay she asked me what did you say then why didn't i attend classes regularly why did didn't i attend classes regularly so in the end what should i do full stop okay so do you think it is correct ishani is her sir saying no why no is ishani why no okay in the in the narration present becomes past that is okay but we also know that interrogative becomes positive right if that is so then we are to put the verb after the subject so what's the subject here classes classes is the subject then the verb would come after the classes so the answer would be i asked sorry she asked me why i attended sorry it is not it's negative sentence why i did not attend classes regularly so why i didn't attend classes regularly okay she asked me why i didn't attend classes regularly and a full stop in the end any doubt here okay next question my friend said to me my friend said to me
my friend said to me where is your house where is your house my friend said to me where is your house yes jian janvi give the answer yes ma'am my friend asked me where my house was repeat please my friend asked me where my house was yes very good answer correct my friend asked me so said to will change into asked my friend asked me in what it commas will go and where itself will be used as a conjunction where my house was and a full stop in the end okay if you get any doubt you can ask you can raise hand and you can ask okay next statement is i said to my brother i said to my brother how did you do this i said to my brother how did you do this rajvinder will give answer rajvinder give answer okay meanwhile he is unmuting you tell her that How? Okay. 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 Think. Your answer is okay up till here. Tense. Which tense is it? Past indefinite. Past indefinite will change into past perfect. What's the rule of past perfect? Hmm? Yes. Then change accordingly. how had you interrogative becomes positive now tell gurleen you tell hmm yes very good so i asked my brother how he had done that okay how he had done that you can add from your side how he had done that work so you can put that in bracket how he had done that and it out now no okay now let me change the sentence only this much i said to my brother how give me option what should i write okay do how do you do this give the answer i said to my brother how do you do this write the answer all of you write the answer those who are online also okay arshdeep kaur can give answer yes sir sip kaur dharyam dharyam give the answer i 
asked my brother how he did that. Hmm. Yes, that is correct. I asked my brother how he did that. So had will go, done will go, do will become did. I asked my brother how he did that. Because the rule is present and is too past. So do will become did. Okay, now write one more sentence. Similar. I said to my brother how... Give me the option. How will you do that? I said to my brother, how will you do that? Dharia, you are not there. Hmm? Gaurav will give answer. Unmute yourself, Gaurav. Huh? I asked my brother, how, how will he... How will you do this? Hmm. Anji Gurpal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that is correct. I asked my brother how he would would do that. Who is speaking? Gaurav. Gaurav. Yes, okay, correct answer, Vita. How he would do that and a full stop in the end. So will will become would. Okay, how he would do that. Okay, if I change, if I change will into how are you doing that? This now change. Think, think. The question is how are you? Yes, Sanshya? Mistake. No, it's okay, yes. So I asked my brother how he was. Yes. So R will become was, right? And he will become before the subject, verb. How he was doing that. Okay, now let us change this much into instead of R, write down was. How he, how were you doing this? Now change. I said to my brother, how were you doing this? Yes. So were means, were doing means past continuous and past continuous changes into past perfect continuous. Remember this? All past change into past perfect. So past continuous will change into past perfect continuous. And the rule of past perfect continuous is had been V1 IH. Had been present participle. So I asked my brother how he had been doing that. How he had been doing that. Now, if I say, instead of work, if I say, how have you done this? How have you done this? Let me ask somebody online. Chaitanya, are you there? Chaitanya. Yes, ma'am. Give the answer. Ma'am, I asked my brother. Ma'am, hmm. um, how, how had he done? How he? Ma'am, how had he done in that? Uh, now you are on track. There is a minor mistake. Make that also correct. So Chaitanya was saying, I asked my brother how he, how he had, so then he was okay. Had. Okay. I asked my brother how he had done that. 
So simply have will become had, and you will become he, and it will become before the sub verb. How he had done that? Okay. Okay. Now if I say how had you done that? Okay. Ansha says. I asked my brother how he had done that. How many of you say this is wrong? Raise hand. Do you think it is wrong? Hmm? Why? Because Ansha is giving the answer. <laughs> yes, Gurpal. Is it wrong or not? Hmm? Gurshan. Yes. Is it wrong? little bit how do you why do you say this what's the reason that this is wrong gurleen is it wrong or right right because ansha says hmm? the rule doesn't ha huh. so gurleen is also right now Tense doesn't change. Past perfect doesn't change. Present change is to past, but past perfect doesn't change. Okay, past perfect remains past perfect. Present indefinite changes to past perfect, and past perfect further cannot change. Okay, so I asked my brother how he had done that. Okay. So revise these things. Uh, today your test today is Saturday now, and the Saturday test will be of all voices, all narration, and uh, the last three chapters which we did in the end. Three chapters. Okay, children.